Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Meaty69. Welcome back to the channel. Now, we have another episode or a episode of Right Tank, Wrong Gun. Yes, this is a series that I started a few years ago. And to be honest, I haven't done one for months and months and months. I have done one quite recently of Right Gun, Wrong Tank. Uh, but today we are looking at Right Gun, uh, Right Tank, Wrong Gun. Uh, so that basically means where we put the wrong gun on a tank so today we are looking at the yag tiger 8.8 now the 8.8 actually means something and of course that means it is an 8.8 .8 centimeter gun now wargaming for some reason for some reason years ago decided to give this tank uh a gun a, an extra gun and that is a 10.5 centimeter gun so whereas for years this tank was for sale it's one of the oldest premium tanks in the game they, uh, it was always just the one gun, the tier 8 gun, the 8.8. .8. They decided to give it a tier 9 gun. Now, what is the difference between both guns? Now, we're just going to look at the penetration and we're going to look at the DPM uh, and the alpha. So, the penetration is 203 on the 8.8. .8. You go over to uh, the 10.5, the penetration is 235. So, basically, it's 32 more pen. Not that much difference if if uh, if i'm honest and your apcr is 48 more uh and this the he is 16 more now the alpha is a big difference so 350 alpha for this uh for this 10.5 and of course only 220 on the 8.8 .8. um seven degrees of gun depression they both have seven degrees of gun depression so what about dpm what is the difference i mean the difference is 364 to be honest that's actually quite a big difference so the dpm with the 10.5 is 3563 dpm that is big for a tier 8 uh, tank destroyer that is a big amount of dpm however the dpm on the 8.8 .8 is still fairly good at uh, 3199 so still good very good indeed but the the worst thing the worst difference about the 10.5 is the aiming time at 3.8 which is quite uh quite high for the aim time uh the dispersion is still good at 0 0.290 uh but yeah the 8.8 .8 wipes the park all over i mean aim time 3.1 which is still good and the dispersion 0 0.281 which is still very good and of course the reload because it does have less alpha the reload is just four seconds on 8.8 .8. And it is 5.8 seconds on the 10.5. So since Wargaming gave it the 10.5, there is literally almost no reason whatsoever to run it with the 8.8. .8. That is, of course, uh, unless you are, of course, that's unless you are like uh, like me and doing it for a video. So there is literally, you, you should not be playing it with the 8.8. .8. The 10.5, I mean, it's always been a good tank. It's never been like a, a fantastic tank. It's always been a good tank. But since Wargaming gave it the, uh, the, the 10.5, it's now become a fantastic tank. Now, the only downfall about the tank now is is sort of the speed. Now, the speed is it's okay, uh, but yeah, when you're going up hills, uh, it really does struggle. Uh, and for me, that is the uh, the worst thing about the tank. But you know, if you're used to driving the Yag Tiger, especially the the Tier Nine, then you're going to be used to playing this, and you'll probably like it. If you like the the Tier Nine Yag Tiger, then you will like this because it's a basically the exact same, but Tier Tier Eight. And uh, more DPM, pretty well, less DPM. I think it's well. I think it's almost around the same. Um, but yeah, I mean, you're coming up against tier sevens in this uh, this tank, so it's still fun. I mean, I played a few games with this gun with the 8.8, .8, and you can see 3.4 seconds if you are running uh, the adrenaline, which is still good. So it is like a, a basically a shoot, shoot. You're, you're constantly shooting. It's like a pea shoot, uh, but it's just not as fun now as the 10.5. The 10.5 can really cause a lot of damage, uh, and still with the high reload, uh, sorry, with the high alpha, it still has a fairly low reload, just over five seconds, which, for, which is still really, really good. Of course, it's not four seconds. Uh, but you're not doing as much alpha with this gun but you can see if you can perma track tanks then yeah of course it's it's going to be a fun fun uh, gun to use um but i do 
I do like both guns. I'm not going to lie. I do like both guns. I liked the tank before it had the uh, the 10.5, uh, and of course I still like it now. I liked it. Uh, I like it even better now. The armor profile is still super strong as well. It's super, super uh, troll. People will be able to penetrate you. If they aim, people will be able to penetrate you. The upper plate is quite strong, the lower plate not so much. So don't give them the opportunity to shoot your lower plate. Just try and hide that as much as you can. And because of how slow it is, you're going to see me turn in here. Uh, because of how slow it is, be uh, be mindful of that. Be careful. And that's why I, I was staying put here. I was just about to reverse back to the wall, but no point. The Dracula literally gave me, uh, gave me a free kill here. But you can see I'm always trying to keep cover. I'm always trying to not keep cover, but keep... Uh, something between me and the tank so i'm not going to go and push towards the t20 i know that there is the tank the challenger uh, that is at the side but i'm going to ignore him for now to try and go for the t20 but you can see i'm always trying to stick to a wall as close as i can so i'm not giving them the option to uh, to be able to get around me especially like the challenger no he's a quick tank but there's no chance he'll be circling me in that direction so that game you can see we bounce 1300 of course the armor profile is still the same and you can still bounce and we ended on 2.6k damage now that was my first game in the tank we then had a game that i lost blah 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 and then sort of look you can see we had i had three games in this tank the first one we're not really going to show the second one uh because i do get uh, we I do get killed and I still had a decent game, but there was just literally no team. So next up, the uh, we're going to play again. We are up against tier sevens. Of course, the tank is going to be much better in tier seven than it is against tier nine. You might struggle to penetrate those tanks um, in tier nine, the super, the, the sort of super heavies. Uh, and of course, you won't be able to really track them as well. But coming up against tier sevens uh, and tier eights, you shouldn't need to use that much pramo. Um, of course, you might need you might need some every every tank now and again needs uh some primer that's what it's there for uh but yeah i mean if you want to run it with this you go for it it is still a fun tank it is still a fun gun to play but in my opinion since it's got the 10.5 there is really zero reasons zero reasons at all to play it with the 8.8 .8. now i still have no idea why wargaming decided to buff this tank I have no idea because it was doing fine as it is. I think the only reason Wargaming buffed it was because they wasn't selling. They wasn't selling. They've always been in the tech tree. That's literally, it's always been in the tech tree. And people tend to not go for this. They tend to go for the, either the Lerva, the T-34, uh, the IS-6. And they never really went for this. And that was that's the only thing I can think of as to why Wargaming would give it the 10.5. So it does appeal to uh, a lot of players. You give, you give an 8.8, .8, a 10.5 gun, it is a big difference. Uh, but the one thing I still don't understand is, is the name. I mean, it's called the Yag Tiger 8.8, .8, but yet it doesn't use an 8.8 .8, it uses the 10.5 so maybe rename it yag tiger 10.5 um so yeah i've never really understood that i've never really understood why given a yag tiger 8.8 .8, a 10.5 gun uh and like i said I i've never really understand why they buffed it in the first place because it was doing absolutely fine how it is now of course a couple of updates ago a few updates ago when wargaming buffed all the tank destroyers this got a, a brilliant buff just like a few other tank destroyers it got an absolutely awesome buff which buffed it by about 300 400 dpm maybe a little bit more it was massive it was an absolute massive buff along with the armor profile that it's got and the 10.5 gun it is now a very very super strong tank in the right hands of course this game here you can see we've only bounced 620 but if we wouldn't have bounced that we would have been dead uh, so you can still bounce shots and you will still bounce shots you put the tank in the right situation you will get bounces uh the, the upper plate is very very strong um and the just don't give them your lower plate of course if they switch to premium ammo they will be able to pin your cheeks quite easily uh, and they will probably be able to get through your upper plate as well so do bear that in mind but other than that it is a super strong tank it can be a fun tank to play um especially in when you're higher tier when you're lower tier yeah not so much fun it, it is one of those tanks that 
performs well against tier 7s, doesn't perform so well against tier 9s, uh, but tier 8s, tier 7s, yeah, no problem whatsoever. And you can just see here now, with this gun, we're just going to tear this smasher apart. We're going to set him on fire, and every 4 seconds, or every 3.4 seconds, we're just going to get the uh, get the damage and get the kill at the end. So again, a nice 2.4k damage, uh, and a very, very easy victory. So let me know if you still run this gun on this tank, and if you do, why? Why do you run this gun? Uh, because the 10.5 is just better in almost every single way. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I'm Mitzi69. If you like the video, please uh, subscribe. And if you want to support me even more, of course, become a Patreon or hit that uh, super thanks in the chat uh, for a little tip if you like the video. So I hope you enjoyed it. I'm Mitzi, and I'll catch you all soon. Bye-bye. We'll